That's the uh, Ultra Highline Prevo chassis country coach conversion buses. These buses are, are manufactured actually in Canada for the folks in Canada. You're a little more familiar with it. The chassis is converted, in other words, made into a motorhome, in this particular instance by a company, Country Coach, that we're very proud to represent in Junction City, Oregon. Looking at the coach, it's 45 foot long. They also make 40 footers. It is 102 inches wide. It is uh, converted with storage on the outside in most of these bays. Some of them have things that are necessary such as generators to run the air conditioning system and batteries when the air conditioning system's not being run uh, for direct current rather than the alternating current. And here and there we have storage and other nice and interesting things. This is the battery section here. And the engine is made by Detroit Diesel. It's called a 60 series is the model. Uh, it's a six cylinder inline. It makes over 1,500 foot pounds of torque are the equivalent of about five big block Chevrolet uh, 454 gas engines. Uh, quite economical, and that's the thing about a diesel, and also very dependable. This is easy, literally uh, a half a million mile to a million mile drivetrain, or four or five times what you expect out of a car. On this side of the coach, we see something that's a little bit different from the past. Prevo has uh, finally come out with their own slide out rooms. This is the bedroom slide. It's a queen size or a king size bed that's the, the head of the bed inside here slides out. And that gives you more room at the foot of the bed to get around to where the closets and dressers are that we'll see when we get inside. There's two slide outs. The second one is where the galley is and also where the living room sofa is. Additionally here on this side of the coach, some interesting things. Uh, of course, our drive system with the tag axle, the rear wheel lifts up so when you're backing up, it doesn't uh, tear up the, the, the turf uh, and scrub the rubber off it. Uh, a little bit more storage back here. And then, of course, the things that we need to have in a motorhome, the hookups for our electricity, which happens to be on a power cord reel, our water and sewer, and the doors access a different way where on the other side they lift it up when you have the storage bay room here they can't lift up so they open up gate style okay stepping into the most uh, fantastic of, of, of coaches with the, the all the nicest features that you saw on the outside everybody always wonders what's on the inside and these are quite fancy i think you'd say reminding us a little bit of uh, being in a fancy Las Vegas uh, show bar or uh, what have you. Uh, the big windshields have electric uh, shades that come down. Uh, we've got a fancy television, a 42 inch plasma TV that comes down. The driver has a, a color backup camera so we can see behind him when he backs up. Uh, all of the switches and, and buttons here turn on lights or do some type of function for the air conditioning or to light lights up on the outside of the coach, what have you steering wheel which works just like the one in the car it's a little bit bigger and this weighs a little bit more in a car too about uh, 10 times as much you're pretty close to 50,000 pounds here going down the road compared to four to five on the average car this seat is a special seat it's a Isri brand air seat and if you can see that the seats starting to raise me back up it's weighing me telling me that I probably need to go on a diet uh, look at the rest of the inside of the coach. Certainly is beautiful and spacious. That's the secret with the, the new coaches with the slide out room. It adds a foot and a half of additional aisleway uh, for invited guests uh, so that you don't have claustrophobia when you're in your beautiful million dollar RV. The, the room slides out as far as this depth right here and comes back in when you, when you move the room in about the same amount. So it's still not so intrusive when it does slide in that, that we're you know, uncomfortable while we're traveling. Both of the sofas make into sleepers. Sometimes the furniture is a little bit different depending on personal taste. You might have a big recliner chair here and a, a desk, uh, two barrel chairs. Here we are in the bathroom. Uh, fancy Kohler appliances, uh, very expensive gold plated and in this coach. Uh, uh, quite nice, which the camera tells you. 
and uh, a shower, uh, all Corian lined, uh, almost big enough for two. We have full laundry equipment so when you're traveling on board that you don't run out of shorts and socks, uh, washer and dryer stack units, more closets, and the, com the commode room, the bathroom, uh, which also has an extra vanity sink. Uh, here the queen size bed in this particular coach with the beautiful draperies and uh, uh, of course you have partitioning doors between the rooms. These happen to be manual doors but air operated doors are an option and as if you didn't have enough mirrors of course you can have additional mirrors on the doors as well. The back of the coach has the main closet, extra television, all kinds of electronics with fancy stereos and DVD players and CD players and CB players, uh, kind of like everything from A to Z.